seconds left for three in the win. Yes! Dion has done it! In the wings after a bobble, a three. Yes! A boom for King Waiters. Waiters with a steal on Gordon. The race is on. Oh, yes! Waiters made sure of it. Waiters from deep. Banks it in with 12 seconds left. This is where you step back through. Up for a three. Got another one. Same spot. Waiters for three. Dion! Dion! Once again! Being clutch is everything in life. Well, that makes Dion Waiters the life of the party, doesn't it? That man is taking and making big, big shots. He has the fourth highest three-point field goal percentage in the NBA since the 17th night of January, so he's effective with the money shots, too. And with the game on the line, he's hit six of 10 daggers this season. No one in the entire association has been better. That's results-driven confidence, people. Spo, take us deeper on Dion. Just committing to the everyday approach and the, the consistency uh, to try to get better. Uh, and he's been great about that. And I think that's why you're seeing an uptick in his, in his uh, efficiency offensively. He's, he's been open and committed uh, to how we want to defend. Um, and he's... Uh, he's reaping, you know, the benefits uh, of that, and he's, uh, you know, the bottom line is he's helping, helping the team win and and becoming a good teammate uh, along the way. There it is. Here we go. First quarter time. <laughs> Let's go to it. Oh yeah. Here comes the drop. All up in your grip. Going to the right hand there, too. Really like that move. Off of the rim. Waiters kick out. Hey, Babbitt. Boom. Oh. Waiters again, driving and speeding. Scavenger action. Great drive and kick action again. Five assists for Waiters to lead the team. What is that like since first night? Wayne? It is. So it's waning? Is that what's it's happening waning. now? Waning. Yeah, it is. Waning three. Waning outside, 32-26, Miami after one. Let's go to the second quarter. This is Tyler Johnson. He's about to lay down the boogie and play that funky music to <laughs> Oh! You love that? Let's see that again. Let's watch it again. Oh, that's so good. So explosive, late rotation, still make you pay. I love big dunks on a head not lie. Oh, come on. I saw that in the, in the, in the PSA, didn't I? There's some things I do. Yeah. Cleveland <laughs> Clinic team play of the game. There's a block, there's a push, and then there's going to be jam because Jelly doesn't shake like that. So let's keep it moving, people. We got Babbin. I need one more look. I need another highlight. I gotta catch a flight. I don't need an eighth highlight replay. Let's go. <laughs> Where someone Babbitt's on television. Waiters needs the rock. Philly cheese, please. Yes. Oh, man. My man Justin is cheering in studio as though it's happening right now. That's my man, no doubt. Third quarter from Magruder. Waiters again. How many did he have? Yep. He had four uh, threes four, today. Four on nine. Man. Beautiful. Six. Four, six. Let's work on that percentage now. Here we go. Was that a little left to scoop? Right, that, I hand. think that was for you, specifically. Just for you. Nice scoop action. Now, that's rejection. That doesn't feel good inside. And that that's, there's going to be some transact tra transition transaction, he said easily, right here. Now, Tyler's back in it. We're just, the, just Johnson and Johnson and then Oh, the backdoor cut and the feed by James Johnson. He does such a nice job. He also had five assists as well. With so good. Heat up, 85, 63. There's a theme. The Heat were up a lot. Here comes Ellington. Release, rotation, splat. And then another block. How many more? Ten blocks in all for the Miami Heat tonight. And then Tyler Johnson. Little blow by action. He had 16 points in all. I only need one person right now, and it's the bus driver. Bus driver, come get the Raptors. They gotta go. They didn't do enough. They gotta leave. Uh, 89 points insufficient to settle the issue tonight. 17 points from DeRozan. I mean, that's a man that just dropped 30 on you any second. So the defense was tuned up. 
Yeah, he was, team really struggled. Five of 16 from the field, uh, a couple of turnovers, couldn't get in the sink. They held him off the uh, line fairly well. Athletic, he changes his speeds extremely well. Look at him exploding on top of the rim here. If you're late rotating over on Tyler Johnson, you know, he will finish on top of the rim. But here's some of the savviness that he continues to mature and grow. He's not just using his athleticism like we see there again. He's learning how to play the game, you know, more efficiently. Look at the floater. His ability to make stationary jump shots as well forces the defense to come out to him. But, you know, this is just a huge asset when a guy like Goran Dragic goes to the bench and you need someone to be able to create off the dribble for themselves and, and, and the rest of the team. Leaving the glass open and they were scoring and taking advantage. And I thought it, it swung back a bit uh, more as the game went on. He, he, you know, he's continuing to look for his spots to make shots in the mid-range game, but also being a defender around the rim. That's what he does extremely well. He had four blocks for Miami, and that was important because uh, he had to de really defend the paint. This guy right here, DeRozan, who's a major all-star, uh, you know, was really getting in there initially, and he really clogged up that paint and took it away. This was quite a battle, these two big guys right here. And being able to defend without fouling, uh, he, he really shows, again, a lot of the growth, because if you recall his first year, he would get into foul trouble regularly every game. Uh, the touch continuing to come along, just the full package for Hassan. They were so worried about clogging the paint for him, it really led to a lot of those open threes that we saw where this team wound up knocking down, you know, 11 threes because everyone's so packed in the paint they can't get out to those shooters quick enough. A lot of that's because Hassan is in the middle. The waiters, who's just been playing at such a high level lately, he's, he's getting some extra arc on his shot, and as a result, I just love the way he's converting more efficiently out there with that jumper. He loves that left hand to create some space. Look at him here again beyond the arc. He was knocking it down out there from three land four of six overall from three 20 points for him but also the facilitation he had five assists keeping everyone involved uh you know really like the way he's playing right now had to take over with Dragic getting injured but i i thought the way Dragic started really helped the team get going they made uh their first six field goal attempts a lot of it had to do with this guy attacking early look at him knifing to the basket drive pull up jumpers had a three as well um, you know, got to the free throw line, a couple of assists. He's so feisty out there. His competitive nature takes over. Look at him knocking people out of the way. He's got a real knack being able to finish at 6-3 with bigger players in the paint. And look at the, even though he only played Jax just about 18 minutes, look at the production anyway. These two guys continue to set the tone. Here's one of those defensive dynamics that are going along with you all's seemingly flowing offense. As you get to the numbers you guys like, Keeping a team under 90, under 40% shooting. What was the focus defensively tonight? Just come out, man. We wanted it. We wanted it. We knew it was going to be a tough game, especially when we wanted to get out and run, knowing they just came off a of back-to-back. And I think we just did a tremendous job. It's coming out with a lot of energy. In the first half, man, just playing together, making the right play. Gordon goes down, has the elbow to the eye. You guys have to crank it up a little bit. How much more did you feel like you had to give after he went down? Uh, we know G going down is a big part of the team, but we got guys on this team who next man up. You got to be ready when your number call. You never know what can happen. And uh, I think we did a tremendous job tonight, man. You know, we was up bad. We just got to do a better job of just finding ways how to close the game out. And, you know, especially these type of games when you're up big, you can't get bored. You can't get bored with the process. And, uh, you know, we'll get back to the drawing board. Last one before we run, because we have to run. You're a confident basketball player. Heat Nation knows that now. Your confidence, though, isn't just about taking. It's making it at this point. Yeah. Because since the middle of January, you're top four in the league in three-point shooting. What's changed for you? Nothing. I just wasn't healthy. I wasn't healthy. It was all about getting comfortable. And uh, beginning of the year, I was just trying to figure things out and uh, try to put myself in a position where you know, just making plays, but also just locking in and, and staying focused. Most important, though, just getting back to getting back to what I do and just over and over repetition, 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 just following through. I think the coaches do a great job working with me every day and uh, focus on my balance and things like that. It's paying off, and I appreciate it. Thank you so much for the time, sir. Thank you. You got it. Dion Waiters, hard work, staying with it. Believing in oneself. That'll get you in.
Then they go in. That keeps in. Waiters with one of his four main threes tonight. Right on television, just in case you forgot. 104, 89. It's a fine. We're coming back. Score this one. 104, 89. If you'd like to catch tonight's game again, tune in tonight at midnight as we replay all of tonight's action presented by your South Florida Honda dealers. This has been a presentation of Fox Sports Sun, your exclusive home for Miami Heat basketball. For Eric Reed, the coach Tony Fiorentino, as well as Kristen Hewitt, John Crotty, and Ron Rostin. I am Jason Jackson. Good night, Heat Nation. See you tomorrow. Here's the final 10. Like a point guard, charge like a running back. See me in the backfield. Boy, you don't want none of that. You don't want to see me, homie. Like it's the bottom of the night with the bases loaded, batting 350. Man, you gotta feel me. I don't feel good at the game when I'm done. I guess my uniform's filthy. I gotta put it all on the line. My people know I play hard. Y'all better learn, cause we here for the W, 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 and we about to bring some trouble to your whole school, yo, you